So, yeah, this is the third part with Claire Batchelor. Uh, she was just about to tell us some really deep secrets, and so we're back again. So, okay, Claire, we'll just go ahead and tell us those secrets. Well, I just wanted to mention when you said about evidence, I don't know how familiar you are with Q. Are you um, familiar with Q? Yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Um, so there's, there's endless amounts of evidence on there and links, and um, they repeatedly say past, uh, which way around is it now? Future proves pa past, future proves future. Um, and to check out their website is qmark.pub. Um, and then there's men, I just wanted to mention other people such as Charlie Ward, he does great YouTube videos. There's um, Kirsten, which is spelled C I R S T N. She's from the States. She does great interviews with people, exposing and, and revealing a lot of evidence with what's going on. And um, the Charlie Freak interviews um, gives a lot of information as well. And I just wanted to say that um, even looking at all the um, celebrities, there's been a lot of um apparently um arrests and house arrests yeah and you, the words you pardon? know the uh what's his name the comedian who was ricky gervais yeah when he was giving that talk golden globes yeah yeah what exactly was he saying because you know he was making this thing you know on he was you know doing this and what yeah. what exactly and he said you perverts he called them yeah you know, he was they're gonna he come knew. for you they're gonna go i think he dumb man you know what does he know he knew what, what was coming um he said they're coming back, for you and then tom yeah. hanks was like yeah i know <laughs> <laughs> i i could watch that watch that again and again because it's like what's it yeah say and, and uh, there's, there's another one I, sorry and there's those very famous actors who go and it's just like <laughs> you know like oh my god how dare he say these things you know they're thinking how you know they were all sort of shaken weren't they yeah it was hilarious and, and there's a video on youtube um breaking his talk down as well and showing the symbolism with his hand gestures Oh, and the meaning it? of yeah um but yeah that was that was unbelievable and he kept, he, saying, was just, he kept saying oh, three hours long god <laughs> i could do this in a few seconds you know like, yeah I, I like that bit about you know and, and all the symbols he was doing you know, it's just yeah like, but it, again it goes back to um when isaac happy did you see his talk no it's isaac kathy he's one of the guys who has led to all of this you can see his videos on youtube his last talks and there's a music video where he is exposing everything and then literally you know not long after then he was killed so um, oh, was he the young chap was he a young person big curly hair um but he was you know in one of his videos he mentions he was not suicidal and that his life was at risk and then yeah, he was suicided yeah. he was yeah he was yeah i i, I do not. remember and also um another chap who was 50 recently uh liz hurley's husband ex he jumped yeah. out of his of a window i mean he's a multimillionaire. why would mm. anyone want to do that um, yeah, he was only fifty. Wow! So he, he, he must have known something. I don't think it's just depression because if you have depression and you're rich, you would get help, wouldn't you? You know, just like because it's yeah, easy. Mind you, a, lot, a lot of the, the drugs that they actually give, you know, a lot. There's been a history of quite a few people jumping from balconies and through windows, and you know. And also, they're saying about Michael Jackson. I didn't actually um, watch that video. Um, Being that, alive? No, about 
um, that you know he he's trying to say something in his songs and what have you. And well, his lyrics were amazing. Then, you know. Yes. Yeah, so um, and also Prince. Prince is a is a born again. So you know that 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 was just surprised that how he died. You know why would he? You know it's well. Not, all those very famous people, Marilyn Monroe, you know, it's just like, oh, going back. Well, another code word is gone with the wind. Um, and there's meant to be a lot of celebrities who have supposedly died who, have, who are actually just in witness protection. And that's part of the disclosure is that a lot of people who have died are actually going to come back from the dead who haven't actually really died. and. Um, Isaac Cappy is actually in one in that category. It's questionable whether he was actually killed or whether he has just gone into hiding. Um, it's a bit like they, Epstein, isn't it? You know, yeah. is, he, is he dead? Maybe, maybe not. Exactly. But there's so much, mm -hmm. so much going on behind the scenes that we haven't seen. But Isaac Cappy was the start, really. He was the person to really bring this house of cards down. He led to harvey weinstein epstein which has now led to maxwell and it's going to go on and on and on and this has led to wayfair being exposed and yandex and all of this that's coming out but not coming out because it's not really seen in mainstream mm. but it's it's there um so you've got half the people believing that it's happening and then half the people saying it's conspiracy but it's, it's anything but conspiracy from my point of view Oh God, yeah, we don't want to make it obvious because as I said before, those people will find other ways. So it's best to keep quiet. It's it's like the Secret Service, you know, they have to keep quiet. So, so long as they're doing their work behind the scenes, that's all that matters. You know, like that, Trump that, doing the theory. work. Actually, Danielle, you just mm -hmm. mentioned the Secret Service and that's a theory that Epstein and um, What's her name? Gislaine? Maxwell. Gislaine, yeah. yeah. Gislaine, yeah. Mm. That they were both involved in that, in Israel, Israeli secret service. Yeah. Because yeah. they cannot actually track down completely how he had all that money. Where did all that money come from? You know, so um, that's interesting. I can't remember the lady on um, YouTube. She's very good. I'll have to try and find her name and put it on here the yeah. reports are very interesting yeah yeah they are meant to be agents working on behalf of israel and yeah. apparently the story goes that they were basically taping all the celebrities and very high up politicians doing things at epstein island and they have these tapes and um, israel wanted to use blackmail them with these tapes That's right. That's right. Um, but the, you know, what's her name? Virginia Andrews. I mean, she even said herself that he had tiny little cameras in every room. Oh, in yeah. The cracks yeah, of the wall. Yeah. He had big screens. Uh, well, you see it on the mo the movie itself, but um, mm. they have it all on tapes. I mean, he he wasn't, Gisle Gislaine wasn't working for Epstein. It, it was the other way around. Um, that's how he acquired his money. And, um, her being the daughter of was it Robert Maxwell? Yeah, who was the, the um, media mogul? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He uh, just like how did he how did he go from being a uh, poor person from Czechoslovakia coming over to Britain, changing his name several times, and to become a thief? basically he was a thief he stole from 300 million pounds from the pension fund you know that created a lot of havoc for those pensioners so um and then you know it's just and then was he pushed you know was he trying to say something and he was pushed off his boat um so what what was i was going to say was andrew he knows a lot because when he was asked, why did you go to Epstein's uh, house knowing he was a paedophile? Mm. He said, it was, uh, it was 
you know, he couldn't he couldn't find somewhere else to stay. You know, he's a he's a he's a millionaire. He could have stayed in a ten star hotel, but he said, <laughs> "Oh, it was convenient to stay at his house." I mean, I know. what kind of thinking is that? Is he dumb? But the one thing that I find that photograph of him with the blonde haired seventeen year old, you know, on the landing. Yeah, that mm -hmm. photo that you put out. Well, he's standing there as if you know he's happy to have that photograph taken. Yeah, yeah. he, you know, so to me, to me, there's an air of innocence about that. I have to be honest, because why would he be standing there? Yeah, you know, here I am. Do yeah. you know what I mean? I find that quite odd. That photo. You I'll, think I'll they would be trying to avoid any photographs? Yes, that's right. Yeah. But he seems very, he's got his arm around her, a waist or something. And, um, you know, yeah, you know, it, that doesn't make sense to me, that photo. No, I, I had thought the same. Well, do, do you think he was, he, he didn't realise that those photos will then appear like he's 30 years stupid. He's 30 years he, if he was really up to anything really bad in that on that at that time that specific time he wouldn't be there yeah you know he's very mm. relaxed in that photo i think you know if you look so you the, think he's uh, not guilty you think he's not guilty on that particular day that that he looks quite innocent on that day but as for all the ah, other day, ah, ah, and all the other visits, that's another matter. Yeah, but, but, but could time, he could he could he be relaxed because he just had sex? You know, he's happy. He's happy. He's just standing there for a photo with us. Is he? Has maybe he maybe they just had group yeah, sex. You know, you don't know. He's like, oh, all happy and happy. relaxed. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you, know. <laughs> you know, you are not going to stand there. Hi, yeah. You know, you're the prince. You know, you're not I think they were about to, weren't they? According to Virginia, they were. That was just before she found out what was about to happen, and that was her camera that she had given to somebody. To take the photo because it, he was the prince um okay. but i just still think it's a very stupid thing to do he's either extremely yeah stupid or naive. it's very strange i don't know yeah it's a very odd photo i think yeah but we will we're gonna know the truth anyways <laughs> just i think let's just <laughs> Just amuse ourselves. Yeah. You carry on talking. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. So Claire, how how long have you been back from France? Because you've been in Hi France Becky, can I give you a years. ring back? Yes. Uh, yeah, I was there. How long was I'm I on France? a Zoom call? I'll give you a ring back. Okay, that five and a half or six years I was there and I've been back a year now. Wow. How are you finding it? back okay actually I, I was a bit scared because i think i you know I, I was really enjoying the sunshine and the weather and the lifestyle but it, it actually it was the right time to come back and um i i feel i feel good it feels good to be here it's a, a different timeline now and so it just feels quite renewed it has it has a newness a freshness about it so okay. that that's really good yeah Fabulous. And have you been doing workshops up in your area or, you know, you used well, no, to do didn't you? Yeah, yeah. I did a, did a lot at one time, but um, last year I did my delivery service with my raw foods. So I did that quite a lot around my job. And then um, this year I, I had intended to do, you know, various workshops, but with lockdown that wasn't possible. Mm. So, um, so yeah, and I had been, yeah, I'd been asked as men to help be helping with the food at um, an event for David Wolf um, with Emma Jones in June, and uh, I wanted to exhibit yeah, where, again for him. Yeah, where is David Wolf then? Where where does is he local? He is in. He lives in Canada, and he's got a farm in Hawaii as well. 
I think he's in, in Canada since lockdown, but he's just, he's been putting out so much amazing content. He's on Telegram now. Telegram is, um, it, it's not a controlled uh, platform. Yeah, no, it's I've joined Telegram actually. I've joined it, it's but good. I don't really know how to use it yet. So I, don't, I haven't started. I so. don't know how to set up a page, but yeah, David Wolf has got his following on there now and he puts out a lot um, on a daily basis and he's doing other talks via, um, via another platform as well. So, so not you know David Wolf, can you tell us a little bit about him and um, how he started and what, what you know, what's, what's his background? But David Wolf, he's really the the most famous raw foodist in the world. I mean, he, oh, I he see. came right. he, yeah, okay. he came from a medical background. His mother and father are both doctors, and um, I know uh, from a young child, his passion for health um, grew from there. And um, he he he's just been very awake and aware from a very young age. And he's he's got various. Um, degrees in in law and science nutrition I believe and he's done he's a fabulous talker and he is now he, he's really exposing what, what's going on in the world as well as health but he's done many talks he's, he's got many books out one being the um, the sun food success system I've got them here actually superfoods longevity now eating for beauty uh, nature's first law the raw food diet um raw chocolate he's, he's got many books out so he's the main person there to talk about raw food oh maybe you could give us a recipe come on give us a recipe for raw chocolate oh raw chocolate um yeah you, so raw cacao and then i, I like adding the superfoods algaroba and lacuma so they're south american superfood powders which i add which it, they add um sweetness to the chocolate and a creaminess because the, the chocolate doesn't contain dairy so i'd add those and uh maybe some chili if you want to add a bit of spice i'll, I'll also add some xylitol because that's a non-glycemic sweetener that comes from a birch mm -hmm. tree Mm. It looks like mm. gran granular granular sugar. Co can you use coconut sugar? Yeah, you can use that. Um, again, I like to go as zero, not low glycemic as possible. Um, but yeah, coconut sugar is a good one. It's not as acidic as you know refined processed sugar. What else? So, what do you do with the cocoa then? Um, well, I melt that down and I, I add all the ingredients and I'd use um, cacao butter. Yeah. Melt it down with a bit of cacao paste. Cacao paste is the pure raw chocolate. So I, I melt that down into a, a butter consistency, add all my ingredients in the blender, blend it all up and then put it into the molds and um, wait for it to set. And then you've got raw chocolate. It's easy. <laughs> yep. Maybe next time you should bring them, bring them on Zoom, so we could go. <laughs> yeah, I did find my my leaflet actually for the raw. Can you see? Yeah, uh, yeah, wonderful. That's my raw brand. Works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. We should all. Oh, really I, cool. I must remember to order some because I thoroughly enjoyed it last time. So I'm going to order some, Claire. So that's um, it. Yes. Uh, and it's cheap. It's only fourteen pounds ninety nine or something. You know, it lasts. Yes. Um, so I'm going to order some. Um, what? Um, oh yeah, did you give us a beauty tip last time? I did. I mentioned um, uh, intermittent fasting. No, no, I mean for skin. Oh, skin. Um, for skin, I think one of the best things is uh, MSM. MSM, coconut oil. I mean, the main, the first tip. I think the main thing is is don't ever put anything on your skin that you wouldn't eat yourself. That's because we a good absorb tip. everything. That's we a good tip. Um, I know my dog. He's got, I think, worms, and so yeah. the vet said to put it on his neck, on the skin. 
So yeah, so whatever we put on the skin is what we absorb. My yeah, mother everything. uses herbs on the dog and cat's food. She sprinkles herbs and it stops all sorts of things. I don't know which oh, herbs I, they are. Oh, ask her, ask her because um, our dog is like, oh. So I've, I've just paid quite a lot of money to get the, the tablets for him. Um, but you know, the skin is so important, isn't it? Uh, you know, every part of us is so important. We, you know, when you think about us, who we are, we're really super beings. And we're not told that from a young age that we are super beings. Instead of your mum telling you, oh, that's not good enough. Oh. But we are super beings. You know, the, the way the immune system works, it's like oh I remember I remember you had measles I remember you had you know flu I remember the, and the memory inside our brain I, I don't know where it's kept you know there's a big computer out there that keeps all our memories but they're saying the immune system remembers everything and we're surrounded by millions and millions of bacteria and viruses so how is that possible? You know that we are super beings. We're light beings. We're, you know, uh, even people who are evil. You know, they they are made in this, the, the image of God. So, <laughs> oh yeah, tell us about Agni. Agni. The fire. Yeah. Well, we're well, just to backtrack on what you just said there. I mean. Um... I totally agree. You said about the the memory and the uh, little organisms. I mean, we're, we're, we are made up of, you know, billions of uh, microorganisms. They outnumber our cells even. And, um, you know, when we are outnumbered with the bad bacteria in our bodies, that they do control our thoughts. I think we mentioned before about how when we're craving something sweet, it's the bacteria in our Yeah, it is. It is. So it. it's like, stop. Yeah. It's the bacteria. And we've got to fight the bacteria. Bad bacteria. But the bacteria know. is how our... They are all interconnected and communicating with each other. Um, it's They're very much linked to our neurotransmitters, serotonin and de dopamine. And it's, it's, it's a big, massive communication network that links our the gut our brain in our guts and the brain in our in our head yeah, well this is it how how amazing we are uh, you know like breathing can can get in touch with a reptilian brain and when we drop into our heart system we can make things happen like heart math have you heard of heart uh, math yeah 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 and that's what they're teaching in businesses now. You know, like you've got to yeah. drop down into your heart. And that's what I'm looking for. Uh, I'm looking for uh, spiritual entrepreneurs who, yes. would, who would make a, this massive change forward. The, the, wow. That's the sort of people we want. You know, not the big companies, not the big monopolies. We need yeah. the little people. And it's why I love cacao so much, because it puts you into your heart. It opens that heart space. Yeah, I drink that all the time now. <laughs> That's the yes. most, what I have. And Amazing. it gives you energy. It's got so much in it. And, and you know, um, chocolate is good for you, but because it's mixed yeah. with sugar... That's the problem, that's, isn't it? That's what she was serving in the film Chocolate, isn't it? Yeah. Cacao? Oh, it's everybody was on a high. <laughs> yeah, it does. Chocolate. Yeah, pure chocolate is good for you. Yeah. But because they put stuff in it, sugar, and that the sugar feeds the bacteria, the bad bacteria. And that's why, you know, we shouldn't eat too much chocolate. Well, it's, it's chocolate and the green and blue algae. They're, they're the only two foods on the planet that contain PEE, PEA, which is the bliss chemical. It's that, that uh, chemical, it obviously makes you feel like you've had sex. And also it contains anandamide, which is the... What is it? What is it again? Bliss, 
<laughs> what is it? What is it that gives you that high? P E A. What is it? <laughs> P E A is called. It's only P chocolate. Yes. I forget the name in full now. It's a very long name. But how much chocolate do you need to eat to get this sexual high? <laughs> not much. Not much. If you're not used to it, not much. But um, yeah. Well, that's another good tip, though, isn't it? <laughs> we should go to the chocolate making business. Yeah, raw chocolate contains yeah PEA and anandamide, which is the bliss chemical. Oh God, that's a wonderful tip. But it's got to be without the sugar. Yeah, pure processed uh, cane sugar. It 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 doesn't shouldn't have that in it. No, it's processed and it's very acidic. Oh right, okay. <laughs> I I think it's been a funny funny. Um, so okay. uh, it, yeah. Can you can you name one book that was really changing for you? You know that really made you think, ah, oh, or awakening. Maybe that's the better way to put it. Yeah, I had a good think about this last time, and I did did mention one to Danielle, but I changed my mind. Um, I think there's one book that I think was life changing for me and many other people. It's, it's not the book itself, it's the, it's the aftermath of the, the book, the journey that the book takes you on, the research and the links to many other people. And, I, and that book is, ready? Um, is Think and Grow yeah. Rich. Sorry? Uh, Think oh, and yeah, Grow Rich. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I didn't get that, sorry. Think and Grow Rich. Oh, that one has changed so many lives. I've yeah. got the book, I gave it to my son. I've got, I never read it. Because no? I think I'm already rich. I don't do not need to read it, so I've never read it. Um, yeah, but for for a lot of people, it's made a lot of changes. You know, the the people who are um, you know very successful entrepreneurs, okay, they've yeah. all read it. They've all read it. Uh, so <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, and I mean, he mentions in there. There's there's a secret <clears throat> in that book that he doesn't tell you, but he says is in the book. That is the secret behind the whole think and grow rich philosophy, and it's really the path it's taken me on is the people that I've studied who study that book. I mean, one person himself is Bob Proctor, who has spent. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's the science of getting rich. Wallace Swattles. That's a good one. Ah, yeah, that's a good one as well. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, this one is think and grow rich. Yeah, I know. I yeah. Can't yes. see it. I thought that was. Good. Yeah, I, I've got it somewhere. I bought it for you know my son. Uh, but I think books. If you have them on their sh on your shelves they read to you you know like you don't need to read all the pages you know because they're there and the energy, <laughs> the energy of those books are inside your head okay we're gonna run out of time in um 10 minutes oh it's been really really great you know we have we've had loads of tips chocolate definitely isn't it yeah cacao cacao yeah, yeah. cacao cacao wow. that's what i mean cacao yeah. Uh, and uh, you know it's been a it's, really there yeah, are rituals around cacao aren't they claire you know that you can do with the moon i've never yes. actually done them myself but i've always wanted to go on one. Oh, cacao ceremony yes yeah yeah they're really powerful yeah mm. especially yeah in a group it's very hard to expand yeah it's it, it's definitely different in a group it, it's um I feel it's intensified somehow that the feeling, the heart expansion in you that know, ceremony is. You know, Claire, tell us about the fifth dimension. What is it going to be like? The fifth, well, I think um, we're already in the fifth dimension, really, with the, you know, the explosion of the internet. We're already in it now. Wouldn't you agree? yeah yeah but um i wanted for everyone you know some of us are already yeah. in the fifth dimension because we are um you know we're open and we're 
you know, we, 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 don't, we don't have like strict beliefs, you know, we're opening up. So for us, we are already in the fifth dimension, but um, for I those people- I think it's that switch to a crystalline consciousness hmm. from a carbon-based consciousness. We've been in a carbon-based reality and it's that switch to a crystalline. And I, for myself, I've felt that switch on and off, on and off, on and off over many years and it just when it switches on it's in, it's incredible it's just that massive heart expansion of just that connectedness to everything and that i feel and i know then that i am experienced that fifth dimensional frequency and, and knowing that we're all um um connected yeah it's it's incredible and, and then it it, it fades in and out but it does feel that it's becoming more consistent all the time yeah no i find it when i go for walks that i i feel really connected to the green fields because you know i'm lucky and the sky is so beautiful you know if you look at the sky you think god is painting all this for me mm. you know so so beautiful and this, when the sun shines it's like it creates these these images in the sky for, for us to really appreciate and i find that you know and i look at the animals and i think oh there's a connection with them and yesterday we had crows in our garden <laughs> that they're, they're eating my my apples oh, you know oh, gosh. Uh, yeah my apples but frank said they're on the floor so it's okay they can have the apples you know but uh it's like and there was a little bird i was walking the other day and this little bird was like breathing you know couldn't breathe properly and i said a little prayer i said you know you're okay little bird you're fine you know and all of a sudden it flew off it looked at me and then it flew off i thought you know there's a consciousness there yeah 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 and we you know we have swans where we are and it's like a real connection with the swans as well. So I think that's an expansion of your consciousness when you are in the fifth dimension. Yeah. You actually appreciate even leaves. And that's the word there. I think you said it there when you said appreciate. It's that gratitude. When I feel in any situation, um, there's any negativity, when you can feel that gratitude in that moment, and and bless the situation bless the animal um mm. miracles can happen there and there no anything can change there's um it was amazing it was a little bird it was so sweet and it couldn't fly because mm. normally when they, you, you come towards them they would just fly off yeah but it was like um hurt or you know and i, I said oh little little birdie 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 I, I, and then it flew off after I'd gone past past it and it just flew off because I don't know. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a good message, isn't it? When you are in the fifth dimension, it means you're connected. Absolutely. I think there's a heart expansion and um, an activation of the pineal gland as well. The all seeing eye. How can you get somebody to start to connect? what can we do every day to do that well i think number one is um, avoiding junk and processed foods that's going to clear away the debris and the clutter in the body and so i think um getting rid of that is number one and and cleansing the body clean it making sure it's a clean vessel because when yeah. you're clear that's the message can come down and um you can well you, can you know jesus told us anyway you know uh, that we've got to clean ourselves and that's why people have baptism is because all of a sudden they feel cleansed you know that yeah. when you're cleansed then things can happen so absolutely um, um so the first step is to detox second step is then is to start to meditate and yeah. you know do do it gradually third step is to what well, what would be the third step is to i think the, the supplement first step, the first step is the decision that's the first step 
Oh God, yeah, yes, yeah. The motivation and decision that you, this is what, like yesterday we heard that one million people have given up smoking during this lockdown in Britain. Oh really? One million people without oh. any therapies. That's without, amazing. That's if amazing. True. Um, it's true. Where, where did the statistic come from, Danny? It was on um, on radio. Um, one of the radio programs no no but it's real statistics so you can check well it, it makes sense if people weren't it. going to the pubs to be able to drink or didn't have access as much um no it's because people are scared so when they're scared that mm. the corona will get them if their immune system is low yeah but they actually found that no jed said no it's it's all fake they did. news they did in france they found well, that smoking actually helps. Uh, actually, scientists, they've been proven to be, uh, to make up these, um, the research papers. And it's Not in France, it was proven that smokers... Well, anyway, some people have given up because they didn't come across that particular research. One yeah. million people in the UK have given up smoking, whether it is temporary or permanent, we don't know. It and this true i don't believe what, half of what's coming out at the moment well we they don't believe the, we don't believe the research in france either you know maybe <laughs> it's subsidized by the tobacco companies that is another thing we need know. to look at tobacco know. companies coming yeah. up with the research and paying and you know uh funding research like that you can't trust them we cannot trust those people but people were speaking on the radio saying this particular woman said, I just gave up. Just like, I don't need it. So if you need it, keep it. If you don't need it, let it go. So that's what we're saying. Let go it, of things you do more, not need. If you enjoy it, isn't it? It's more if you enjoy it, if you get pleasure from it. Yeah, that's fine. If you're not stressed, you know, carry on. But if you're stressed, you, you're damaging your immune system. That's Isn't if you it? believe it. That's if you believe it. <laughs> How many people have died from cancer? How many people have yeah. died from lung yes. cancer? How many yes. people have you died through have. smoking? You How many people? Well. Young people have, Danielle. Hmm? Yeah, it, it does come down to belief, doesn't it? Um, yeah, it's what you believe. Mm. Yeah, we're, we're talking about smoking. I mean, one of the greatest things to help you give up smoking is, is actually niacin. It, it uh, niacin is very much linked to the nicotine plans as well. And I, I, I went um, looking for the brand, April. She said uh, that's the one Life brand, okay. 500 milligrams life extension. But I that's quite a high amount for anyone to start on. But, um, but yeah, going back to the uh, pineal gland, there's a quote in the Bible. I've got it here if your eye be single, your whole body should be full of light. That's talking so, about the. Um, say it again. Yeah. Say it again, so we can hear it properly. If your eye be single, so it's referring to the third eye, um, your body be full of light. Because most people's uh, third eye is um, calcified, isn't it? It's, yeah. Um, yeah. It's closed down. So